Hey photographers, hope you're well. It's Ben from TAFE and a really, really quick 12 days of Christmas video for you. I can't remember where I'm up to. I think I'm up to number five or six. Uh, this one is gonna be quick and it is going to be about something you all know well already, curves. Now, Ben, why are you doing a video on something we already understand? Well, I'm wondering if you know about this little bit of a tweak on curves that can make a bit of a difference. All right, let's check it out. So I'm in Capture One, here's the curve. When it comes to a curve, real quick bit of revision, this represents the dark, this side of the graph represents the dark areas of the image. This side of the graph represents the brighter areas of the image, okay? Uh, in this particular graph, we're looking at this photo here, there, you know, you can eyeball it and see that there's not a heck of a lot of bright areas. There's a little bit of dark areas, but pretty much most of it's in those kind of mid tone areas. And that's, that's pretty much what you can see. Now, we, we use curves for different things. Sometimes we use them for color grading. Sometimes we just do the basic old S curve for a tiny little bit of contrast. That's nice. The trouble is with curves, if you start to bang them out and do a lot with them, colors can shift. You see how old mate Kid Flash's skin here has started to, you know, really, like it, sometimes he gets a red face, but that's, that's pretty extreme. His shorts are really blue and everything starts to look a bit unnatural. Let me just control or command Z those changes away. Sure, you can be gentle and you can, you know, make some adjustments like that. That's fine. But, and this is a cool thing in Capture One, you've got an RGB curve, which is affecting the reds, greens and blues. But you've also got a Luma curve which behaves exactly the same way, except you don't manipulate the color. It just changes the luminosity of those values. So let's do the same change. Let's do one change over here. We're gonna grab the curve here. And we're gonna pull it down. And you see how those blues start to richen up. You see how the skin starts to, you know, get a bit um, a reddish tone. Well, let's get rid of that. Go back to the Luma and create the same change. Now, what's happening there is things are getting darker, but the color's not shifting. And that can be a pretty powerful tool when you use curves. If you use curves to dodge and burn, but the skin color changes on the face, there's a way around that. You could do two curves, adjustment layers, one brighter, one darker, both running the Luma variation and you're not gonna shift your subject's clothing color or skin color or things like that. Now, you might be saying, Ben, is that really worth forking out the coin for Capture One? And yes, you do get a student discount when you're at TAFE, but that is still a pretty hefty price tag. Short answer is, if you want to use that feature, you can kind of hack it together pretty easily in Photoshop. It ain't too hard to do that. Same photo in Photoshop. And, you know, we come up with the, let's do a curves adjustment layer here. Okay, now, let's make this a little bit bigger. If we pull down there, you see that color shift, radio. You will get that, that can be a problem. Let's go there somewhere, somewhere natural. However, if we change our blending mode purely to luminosity, what is happening there is that the, the darkening and the brightening is coming through, but the color is staying the same because we're only letting the luminosity change through with the blend mode. All right, does that make sense? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have another idea for these videos, if anything is puzzling you. Let's see if we can work it out together. Merry Christmas, and I will see you in the next one.